Okay, so basically I'm gonna show you how I do my entrance reducers for the winter. Uh, I, I, I've said this numerous times, I'm not a professional, I'm not, a, I'm not the perfect beekeeper. This is just what has worked for me. But basically what I got is that since I've got a couple of different bottom boards, I've got some that have an, an entrance that's about a quarter inch uh, open, and then I've got some that's almost a half of an inch. So what I do is I take my, my wood, and I, right now I'm using cedar. I had some cedar scrap. I love the smell of cedar, but it's also a very difficult uh, uh, hardwood. So I take that, and this is not the right length, but I put it up at the entrance, and I measure the thickness that it's gonna be. And it's gonna be fairly thin on this one because I think this is about a quarter inch thick. I take it over to my, uh, my saw area. I get it cut down to the, to the, the thickness, you know, that I, that I need uh, to go into the, the entrance there. Then I take it, now this is a finished product, but I take my, my cut down, my little piece right there I take it over to my dado blade and I cut two entrances into it that are just big enough that bees can go in and out, but, but small enough uh, that a mouse couldn't get up in there. And I usually do too, just to give them, you know, an entrance and an exit or two exits or two entrances, but I get it to where it's just, just small enough that a mouse couldn't get there. And I also add an extra uh, bit of insurance, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But anyway, I get this the thickness I want. I drill a couple of small holes on each end and and stick a screw in there. Obviously, not all the way, so that way I can slide this right up in the entrance. But I still have a way to grip it. See, I can grip it and pull it out because whenever I want to get in there to do an OA treatment or something like that, I can. But that's basically what it's going to look like at the end of the. Uh, at the end of the product, but let me let me do one little thing to this, and then I'm going to show you that extra little bit of insurance. So here's what I do: I take a nail, and where my entrances are, I tap two little holes through the entrance on the top. I take a nail like this; doesn't matter what size, the probably the thinner, the easier to do. And I cut it with some uh, with some uh, cutters, some wires, and I get it to where I can just tap it down in this entrance. Now I'm going to zoom in, tap it down in the entrance, so that way the entrance actually looks like just like that. So uh, bees can get through that, can get around that, and they obviously, no mouse can get in that. But let me show you one more thing. So obviously after I've cut off the tip of my nail, it's about like that. And you put it obviously sharp end down in the little hole, like so. And then I take my hammer, Tap it down flush so that way it is not sticking up anywhere on top. And then there it is coming out. Oh, sorry. There it is coming out down the bottom. So you got a good flush product and you got a way that mice can't get in. And then just let me go ahead and say, let me tell you, do not judge me on how dirty my building is. It is, uh, I have been down here working a good bit and I just haven't got it cleaned up yet. But anyway, uh, like I said, there's so many other different ways to do entrance reducers. This just seems to be the way that I enjoy doing it. It seems to work for me. So uh, give it a try. You could ask for exact measurements, but I really can't tell you because over time the measurements kind of change on these entrances because the wood sags or swells or something like that. So you just kind of have to, you know, measure your own and figure it out. But like I said, this is it. This is a finished product. Uh, two entrances, uh, little nails through, some screws to help pull it out. And that is basically what it will look like when it is on the finished type. Good luck. Yeah, so this is just a quick video of uh, one of my entrance reducers in this existing hive. They tend to uh, use it fairly well. In and out. It looks like that may be a little battle right there. Oh. Anyway, that's what it looks like.